So before running you through the examples, I would like to briefly show you how to install mtech. So mtech is a MATLAB toolbox. So for mtech to run, you of course will need an installation of MATLAB. Um, I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna guide you through how to install MATLAB because I think there's already good general resource for that on the internet. Um, so let's have a look at how to install mtech. So you will have to go to the mtech's homepage, which is like mtech-toolbox.github.io. And then you get to, yeah, to the main page, which has like a tons of information. Um, I would really encourage you also to look at the documentation once you get going. It's very well um, structured. But for now, you want to go to download to the download tab and actually download the latest version of mtech. So there's a lot of different releases, but, uh, <clears throat> but I would uh, encourage you to install always the latest release since then you have the latest functionality and also most of the bug fixes well implemented. So also for our toolbox OR tools, you will need the latest MTEC version 5.6, um, currently the latest one, of course. So you download this zip, uh, zip file, then when you've downloaded it, you will extract the zip files. And from that we can open, um, yeah, we, you, you extract the zip file, you will save the folder to your favorite directory in your documents folder or wherever you like to have it. And then we can open MATLAB. So when you open MATLAB, it looks somewhat like this and you have this kind of um, path browser, browser here. So I installed my, uh, or I extracted my mtech right here. It's the 5.6 version, so I can double click on it. And what you have to do is just, you go to startup mtech, you do a right click and then you do run. Alternatively, you can use F9. So then it will come initialize mtech and it will basically now install mtech um, on your computer that next time you can just uh, run startup mtech and then you're ready to go. So it says now that it's uh, initialized so we could just do a very fast uh, um, test. So you could do mtech data force the write which will load in an mtech um, data set. So yeah, since I just downloaded uh, download mtex for the first time, it's actually downloading this data from online. So now we have an EBSD data loaded in and we can just do a very fast plot, um, plot EBSD. And yes, there you go. You have plotted a, a data set. If you can do this, then your mtech is correctly installed. And we can start with the more exciting examples.